All right, so I wanted to shoot this video to talk through uh, the topic of progress. How do you make progress when it comes to learning to play guitar? And what happens when you're not making progress, when you're stuck? And, you know, it happens to everybody, first of all. So I wanted to start off by letting you know that you're not special, you're not unique when that happens. Everybody gets stuck and everybody feels that frustration. Um, and it'll happen more than once. You're going to get stuck many times. Um, so what do you do? And so I wanted to share some of the things that I do to help get out of it. You know, how do you get, how do you get unstuck? And so if that's been you, if you've experienced that, I'd love to hear your comments. So feel free to jump in wherever you're watching this video and leave a comment. And it's always helpful for everybody when we share our experiences. But the first thing I wanted to say to start this thing off is, um, what is progress? You know, you have to define progress. Like, wh what does it mean when you're making progress? And the only reason I say that is because I get a lot of repeat emails, and I've I've heard a lot of the same things for years, many years. And one uh, unfortunate mistake I think a lot of people make is they assume that progress is the end goal. So think about that for a minute. What I mean is, if you watch somebody play something on YouTube, or you go see a band play somewhere, or you hear an album, and you think, oh, I want to be able to do that. We all feel that. Like, there's always going to be something that you think, oh, I want to do that. And, and so maybe you're working towards trying to do that. You assume that once you can do that, that's when you've made progress. But the truth is, even if you never get to the end goal, and most of the time you don't. I mean, just being honest with you, I mean, I, most of the, the things that I think, oh, I've got to learn how to do that, I never actually get there. But I go down that path far enough to pick up some things. And those things that I'm picking up, that's the progress. And so progress is really these little tiny incremental things. And sometimes they're hard to see, but it can be as simple as a hammer on or the way you bend a string. And it's those things that give you your unique sound and make you sound like you. It gives you your signature sound. So there's so much benefit in going down a path, even if you never get to the end of it. You're still learning along the way. Just remember, progress is progress. Progress is learning. It's like, even if it's not a physical thing, even if it's a mental thing. And sometimes progress is mental. It's just understanding something that you didn't understand before, seeing the, the neck in a way that you didn't see it before. Or maybe it's a theory thing that, oh, that's why a, a, you can go from a six chord to a nine chord or whatever. All of a sudden you can understand it. Um, you know, those are things, even if you can't play something, if you understand it, those are progress things that need to be celebrated. So be happy with what you've learned so far. And remember... It's a crock pot, not a microwave. Somebody told me that once, and I love that analogy because that's what this, this whole thing is. It's, it's a slow simmer in a way. Now, I realize that some of you are on a fast track, and some of you are retirees, you're older. Uh, I throw myself in this group, by the way, but, um, but you don't have all the time in the world, and you want to learn how to get into playing guitar and do it fairly quickly. Well, you can put yourself on a fast track. That's, that's no problem. That's just a goal. But... Even if you're on a fast track, you still have to celebrate the little progresses that you've made. Stop every now and then and just sort of reflect on that. I have the benefit with Active Melody. I put out a new lesson every week, and so and I've been doing it for 10 years. So I can look back and I can see progress. I can watch. I can you know watch something I was doing three years ago and go, wow, I wouldn't do that now. Or sometimes it's a regression. You think, wow, I don't know if I could do that now. That's just part of the journey. It's the ups and downs of it. It's like a stock chart. You know, you got uh, hills and valleys. Now, I know that some of you are saying, well, that's great for those that are out there, you know, actually making some small incremental progress, but I'm not making any. And you could be right. You could actually not be making any progress at all. And if that's you, this is how you get out of that. You're probably stuck in a comfort zone. You're in, the, you're in a big comfy blanket and you don't want to get out of it. And what I mean by that is when you sit down to play guitar, and you may play two or three times a day, what you're probably doing is you're playing the same old things. You're, you're playing the same chords, same songs. You might be practicing the same scales, kind of you know playing along. Maybe you've kind of gotten pretty good at the things you're doing. But you're not pushing yourself at all. You're not, you're not trying to soak in something new. You're just kind of rehashing. Well, the truth is growth does not happen there. I mean, that's just not, that's maintenance mode, which is good. 
in a way, if you want to maintain, but it's not good when it comes to learning something new. So if you're trying to sound like somebody that you've, you know, doing something that you've never been able to do, you're not going to get there playing the same old stuff or the same old skills. It's just not going to happen. And that sucks. And actually, that sucks is a good word for this because when you learn to play or when you're learning to play something new, it sucks. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't feel good. It's not comfortable. It's kind of mentally exhausting. It, it's work. You have to get back into the work thing. Just like when you learn to play that first G chord, it feels the same, sort of. I mean, it's not quite that because you have a little more understanding, but you're, you're going into this new territory. And so that's why people avoid it is because it's much more rewarding to sit down and just play the things that already sound good. Why would you want to play something that sounds bad? But that's the truth. You have to get out of that comfort zone. So I don't know what your goal is. I, I don't know what you're trying to do. You know what that is, and you can sit down and figure out what the next step would be to get towards that goal, but I know that the next step would be something uncomfortable. And it doesn't always have to be physical. It could be mental. It could be just understanding something. Even if you don't pick up a guitar, you might say, I want to understand what the modes are, and I'm just going to watch videos until I understand it, or I'm, I want to understand what a six chord is, or whatever. All the information is there. And so, so I get that some people can watch a video once and they can totally get it, and some people have to watch it many times. That's okay. You don't have to compare yourself to other people in the learning process. I'm, I would give myself a really bad grade in that. I'm, I'm a much slower learner than all of my peers, or I was. The weird thing is a lot of the people that I grew up playing with have kind of stopped playing, so it's kind of interesting. But And I here I am. It's like tortoise in the hair. I keep going. I keep going. And I like the fact that I'm still learning. So I try and push myself uh, several times a week into something new. And it's uncomfortable, but it does work. The other thing I'll just mention, the last thing, is don't dismiss the metronome. The metronome is uh, a powerful tool. I hate the metronome. I do. I hate it. I hate playing with one. But it's, it keeps you honest. It keeps you on time. And it it can help you especially if you're trying to get faster that's my thing is i'm just trying to get faster so the metronome is great for that cuz it gives you a measurement you can know if you're if you're getting better or not it's like a scale it's it is it's a scale for your fingers and for your speed so if you don't have a metronome there's free ones there's free apps that you can download there's also even go to google.com and type in metronome there's a free one right there at google so there's no excuse for not having a metronome you've got one if you've got the internet all right, well, that's the summary. If you, if you have been making progress, even if it's small progress, celebrate that progress. If you haven't been making progress, push yourself out of your comfort zone, figure out a plan, and, uh, and just start doing it daily. Start learning something new. You've got to get into that uncomfortable stuff that doesn't sound as good. Just lock the door and don't let anybody hear that stuff. You can always go back and play the maintenance mode later, but... And actually, you should keep doing the maintenance mode as you do this stuff. But hopefully that's given you some ideas. I'd love to hear your comments on this, so feel free to chime in and let me know what you're doing to help get unstuck if that happens to you. And that's what we have for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this and maybe picked up some new ideas. We'll see you in the next one.